Hey YouTube, Darren here, just kind of an update. I'm gonna tell you what all's going on today. First, I wanted to give some shout outs to the people that have subscribed to the channel. Uh, 113098, Nico, thanks for subscribing. Quad Core Pacemaker, all one word, thanks man. 1224 Steve, thanks. Euroblazer, thanks man. Uncle Servo, you know who you are, man. Thanks for subscribing. I appreciate it. Master Mutter 239. Thanks, man. Mark Mountain Dew. Mark, I was looking at your uh, videos. Uh, I wanted to tell you thanks for subscribing. Billy Frederick Hans Sr. Man, that's a mouthful. Thanks, dude. Hannah Erdley. Thank you for subscribing. As always, guys, take a look at Southern Off-Road Mowers. Post something stupid up there because God knows I do. Now, okay. okay. This is what I have been working towards. Um, this is the building that was sitting right outside of it. And why did I want to put it in here? Well, it's kind of a, it's insulated and it is plywood on both sides. Wouldn't take much to harden it. I'm gonna uh, screw it back into the concrete. And we're going to use this as kind of a bad weather shelter because that uh, beam where I'm pointing to right there is actually where the ground is. Uh, this is uh, below ground and the uh, county road is out there. And that's why I run a muffler but the level of the road is actually right there on the outside so I'm going to uh, skin this over with steel and uh, then we're going to uh, put a brick uh, cinder block wall up here we're going to fill this up with sand and a cinder block wall um, and across the back and uh, make an above ground storm shelter or safe room but it's also going to be a tool storage in a workshop, in my workshop. All my camping stuff, we're gonna take it and put it across the top. Um, and I'm gonna do that in just a minute and get everything situated for it. And my other building, that one, is going to go right here. And then I'm gonna wall this uh, shop in and put a door in. And I'm gonna put in central air, or I'm going to put in air conditioning. I, I'm going to insulate it and go ahead and air the damn thing. I just I don't like working hot anymore. Um, and everybody says, um, so that cuts my size, the floor space, in half. Um, to a degree it does, but um, I only work on mowers, and I can put one, two mowers in here easily and take the decks off and maneuver them around. I've got four acres of storage on the other side and I've got a warehouse to uh, store finished product in it so I also am a lot closer to the house so my wife can hear me screaming when I hurt myself yeah, she, she asked me to do it for that reason but uh, we're getting along with it it's going pretty good More time. Okay guys, this is the mud pit. Um, I have made it through it once. Ah, oh my god, this stuff will suck the boots off of you. I just sank up to the frame. Um, some of this stuff is just gnarly. Um, yeah, there's that. Ah. Wow. Like I never got it out. Gonna do it again.
that was exhausting. So, here's my challenge. Guys, if you live in Alabama or around here and you want to try the mud pit, come on. There we go. That's one reason I'm going to go ahead and uh, try to get a little bit more uh, uh, tire turning out of the uh, uh, with a pulley change. I'm hoping that'll uh, let me get through that. That's just nasty stuff. I mean, I, I've gone in it up to my knees and still really hadn't felt the bottom, and then you get kind of nervous and try to crawl out. But um, can't play anymore because I've got to get started back in here and uh, get this stuff squared away. Boy, the wife will really make some mayhem on my ass. Y'all go take it easy. Bye-bye.